When to use Pulse TIG on the Trailblazer 330. While welding with the GTAW process, pulsing is a great weld control that allows the user to have increased travel speeds, reduced heat input, and reduced distortion on steel, stainless steel, and various heat-sensitive metal alloys. To turn on the pulse setting with the Trailblazer 330, first enter the GTAW idling process. Once in the GTAW process, press the Weld Settings button. This will bring a pop-up window that holds several advanced weld features. Using the main control knob, scroll to the Pulses Per Second, or PPS tab, and press the knob in to select the weld control. Pulse TIG will be off when the Pulses Per Second setting reads 0.0. .0. To activate Pulse, simply turn the knob to the right. This increases the pulses outputted during a weld. The Trailblazer 330 has a pulse range from 0 to 150 hertz. Welding with a lower frequency, or PPS, is typically used to weld thinner materials. Having a lower frequency lowers the average heat input in the weld and can help train new operators with learning filler rod timing. Welding with a higher frequency, or PPS, are typically used when welding thicker material. Higher frequencies can allow for improved weld penetration, faster travel speeds, and better control over the arc. When Pulse TIG mode is activated, it unlocks two additional advanced welding features, peak time percentage and background amps percentage. These settings adjust the shape of the pulsed GTAW waveform. The peak time percentage setting increases or decreases the duration of time spent at the peak current during the pulse. The background amps percentage setting regulates the current amount of the bottom end of the pulse waveform. This is expressed as a percentage of the preset current. The Trailblazer 330 engine-driven welder delivers the productivity and quality benefits of pulse TIG welding right to the job site. For more information, please visit MillerWelds.com.